Hello. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, how I can layer isopropyl alcohol. This is 91% isopropyl alcohol, which I have in this squeeze bottle with uh, blue dye, several drops of blue dye. And that's less dense than plain water, tap water in this case, with I have one drop of yellow dye. So I'm going to see if I can layer the less dense isopropyl alcohol over the more dense tap water. And it, the slower you do it, especially in the beginning, the better. Now you can do this also, uh, maybe getting a better layering if you use in the bottom a salt solution. It's Epsom salt, Epsom salt works the best from my experience because it's uh, very soluble. So the magnesium sulfate is very soluble in water and it has a very high density. And of course, the isopropyl alcohol has a lower density. Try and get the 91%. And of course, be careful. Uh, it's a uh, you don't want to <laughs> drink isopropyl alcohol. It's uh, poisonous. Uh, even more poisonous than ethanol, and uh, yeah, be careful. Uh, I don't, you know, you want to breathe fumes of it uh, to to a great extent. Uh, where the interface is, you can see that it's green. I'll try and show you that a little bit better in a minute, and uh, you can uh, cover it with a little glad wrap or something, and uh, leave it in your room classroom and see what happens with time over time <laughs> it takes a long time believe me um, it it will mix there'll be diffusion of the isopropyl alcohol from the top to the bottom there'll be diffusion of the water from the bottom to the top and the, the dyes also diffuse and convection plays a role in it too because you get little temperature gradients as a uh, and that causes convection, convection currents. But these two solutions are at the same temperature, roughly the same temperature. They're not, uh, one's not hot and one's not cold. They're both at room temperature. So uh, you can see that I've uh, been able to layer the less dense isopropyl alcohol over the more dense water. And let's see if you can see that green in the middle. It's a pretty sharp, uh, pretty sharp uh, interface. I don't know whether it shows up too well, but if you look at it in, in, in person, you, you can see it. So this is a nice little demonstration, and you can try it the opposite way. Put the isopropyl on the bottom and try to layer water on top of it. Since water is more dense than isopropyl alcohol, the water will sink, and you'll get a mixing of the solutions. I'm not going to demonstrate that, but it's a nice thing to demonstrate. So again, um, be careful not to, uh, I, I again remind you that the isopropyl alcohol is, is poisonous. Um, but you can get it uh, at places, this was Walgreens. Uh, make sure you try to get the 91% rather than the 70% because that has a, a much lower density than the 70%. Thank you again for your attention and I uh, look forward to seeing you next time.